Now create the methods just as usual. Create a sprite object, name it import a frame, set it to zero degrees. And, whoops. Always check the origin point. Give it a valid behavior, and in this case, the default settings will work. And of course, on the start of layout, destroy the missile. Ok, select the turrets and add a new image point. Fire. This is where the missiles will be shot from. Now create a group to host the input events. Set it to inactive. And on the start of layout, be sure to activate it. Now inside the group, create on key pressed events. In this case, we're using A, S, and D, but you can use the keys you like. Then add the function object. and call a function fire rocket with parameter left, middle and right. We'll be controlling each turret with a different key. Now create the function fire rocket. As a sub event, turret, compare variable order to function parameter zero, which is left, middle, and right. Also compare if the value ammo is greater than zero. If then spawn a missile in layer gameplay at image at image point fire. Set missile angle to the crosser position. And let's see how it's working. Pressing A, pressing S, and pressing D. Okay. Now, as a sub event, Compare the ammo order to the function parameter zero. Again, this means left, middle, or right, depending on the key you pressed. 
and check if the index is greater than the turret's ammo. If so, destroy. Whoops. Hmm. Okay, Amos order should be equal to the turrets. The turrets order. And of course I think Oh yeah. Subtract one from the turret's ammo. Now we're talking. Now create the explosion. Another sprite object. And important frames. Set the animation speed to 10 and repeat count to 6. Of course, on the start of layout, destroy. Select the missiles and create a numeric value, target Y. In this game, we are not supposed to hit the enemies with the missiles. The missiles will explode as they reach the target. So when, the fi so when we fire the missiles, set the target Y to the Y position of the crosser. And then, if the missile is higher than the target, a spawn the explosion at layer gameplay and destroy the missile. Ok, now select explosion and create a text variable source. This is just to differentiate the explosion caused by our missiles than the ones caused by the enemy. And here set source to player. Also, select Explosion, on Animation Finished, Destroy. And please repeat after me, I should not forget to put the name of the animation. 